Good morning, everybody. I'm outside today. The sun is out. Look at those blue skies today. It rained off and on all night. So that makes this a perfect time to try and burn our brush piles. I got one big one here, and while this one's going, I'm going to be bringing more brush to it to try and clear as much as I can physically clear. Um, Jim's working on the last of the fruit trees. He's going to dig the holes, and I guess I'm going to plant them when I have time. But right now, I want to get this done since it's the perfect scenario with everything being wet around it to get this out of the way because we're getting ready to move the goats so they can clear all this and this will be part of that pasture. So I wanna get this done and I'm gonna try and bring you guys along for it. We'll see how that works. See if I can find a place to put this camera that you can watch what I'm doing. <clears throat> Okay, I'm changing my tactics a little bit. I found some nice dry hay and I got some real small kindling in there. I'm gonna try and get that going now. I get my matches. We'll see if we can get this lit. If we can get it lit, we can keep it going. That's not the hard part. The hard part is always lighting it. Especially when there's even the pine needles in this pile are wet. But with the heat of the fire, it should dry that out. Let's see if we can get this hay going. There we go. Let's hope it keeps burning. Time to back up, it's growing. I put a nice handful of hay in there, so. Oh, there we go. See how long I can keep that going. I got a chair here. I have a rake there in case I need to rake the hot ashes back in. The last time I did this, this is my burn spot. So there's a lot of ashes laying here already. But the last time I did this, I actually took and I raked the hot coals to kill some of those invasive baby trees and their roots. Uh-oh. Looks like I suck at building fires again. <laughs> It's just really wet. Let's see if it takes off again. I don't want a huge fire, which is why I'm not dumping an accelerant on it. I'm trying to use a slow burn process so I can control it. If all that burn was that little front corner, I could feed it. There's still some nice hot ambers in there. And the more it smokes and has hot ambers, the more it's drying the wood above it. So it could still reignite. It's hot out here. I'm already starting to sweat. Nope. I don't know. It's gonna be more work than I planned on. I plan on lighting it and going and getting more limbs while my back felt semi-decent. <laughs> Might not work out that way. I don't wanna build this pile any bigger because when it goes up in flames, it's gonna shoot some high flames. So I don't wanna make it taller or bigger. It's still smoking. No, I don't think we got it this time. Gonna try again. Okay. After another bundle of hay and I did a better kindling pile, it's going. 
with no accelerant, just matches and kindling and hay, dry hay. It's finally looking like it might stay lit. All right, I'll be back with updates periodically as this burns. It's growing, that's good. Gotta keep feeding it though. Look at that guys, I got it. Woohoo, we're burning. And that little, the last fire I showed you, we just fed that some drier kindling and it took off really well. This, this is about as high as I want my fire. Everything in here is just too close. So now the job is feeding it. And while I'm feeding it, gather more to get over here. Cause we got a couple limbs down from feeding goats and stuff that I really just want to get in this pile today and get rid of. This just invites varmin and stuff, vermin, whatever you want to call them, mice, rats, snakes, to nest in this stuff. So we want to get rid of it. It's doing pretty good. I can feel the heat. I'm about 10 feet away. I feel the heat. And this is one thing I didn't need is more heat, but it's got to be done. Not too bad, if I must say so. It took me a couple tries, but if you can hear that snapping and crackling, it's definitely doing well. All right, I'll bring you back later again. Hey guys, I wanted to come back and I just put a big pile that I brought over from the other side of the yard where the goats were. And, um, I want to tell you what I plan on doing once this is all burned down. The ash that it leaves behind, I'm going to be shoveling it up, putting it in an ash can, and then using some of it in the garden, but we also use it in our compost toilet. It helps keep odors down. I know everybody says you don't smell it, you don't smell it. Well, you do when you take the lid off. And by putting ash in, it even eliminates that. So that's kind of the game plan for all the ashes. And I might even throw a Dutch oven in this mess later on and cook a meal in it. We'll see. I'm dying for some homemade biscuits. <laughs> and I haven't fired up my oven of my new stove yet. So I thought, oh, I could do it in here in a Dutch oven. And we'd have biscuits and gravy. Yum. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're making headway. It's now into the very heart of that pile. And uh, basically all I'm doing is with the rake, I'm just pushing the edges in so that the fire keeps moving of its own accord. And I keep all the loose stuff that it burns the ends off. I tuck that what's not burned back into the pile. It's going good. Jim's helping me get some brush over here. So, and he's the one brought me the hay. It wasn't my idea. I can't take credit for that. <laughs> but we're doing good. We're getting a lot of it burnt. And um, I'm now 20 feet or so away from it because it's throwing some heat and I don't need to be any hotter than what the day is. So, but I'm the one sitting here babysitting it and I don't mind. I like being outside. And I'm already hot. So as long as I don't get any excessive heat off of this, I'll be good. I'm drinking a Gatorade. I got my rake right there in case I need it. This is that tree that Jim macheted in half to move to clear our road. He went back, chainsawed it all down and brought it home. So that's a nice pile of firewood for us for the winter. All right. It's gonna be a, probably a couple hours till this is all done. Well guys, as you can see, we've made a lot of headway here. And we've got several of the smaller brush piles we've already cleaned up and put on here. So it's been burning for probably a good hour or so. And we're getting down to the bigger pieces that were in the bottom. And basically what I've been doing, I've been taking the rake and just pushing the stuff that around the edges here, I push in so that this doesn't take up too much of an area. 
I'm 20 feet away and I still feel the heat when it gets going. So we're doing good, we're getting it done. Jim helped me for a little while there. Now he's back to trying to get the last tree in. Plus he's taken the sand that he's taken out of the holes for planting the trees to fill in some of the low spots in the driveway because our driveway is literally the most muddy mess. Oh, it's almost impossible to get in and out. We're lucky we have four wheel drive on that truck. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's covered in mud. It doesn't pay to wash it, not until the mud's gone. So I'm just kind of staying home as much as possible. That means less digging into this wet spot with the tires. The other day we went grocery shopping. We brought in enough groceries for a month. So, but I think it'll dry out well before that. It's just something we do, you know. We'll buy a lot of food, stock it. And then if we get out again, we'll pick up stuff we're getting low in. It's that simple. Yep. All right, this is almost done, I think. All right, guys, our next step is to burn some of the old pallets that we have sitting around because the brush is pretty much almost done burning. So we got the wheelbarrow loaded up. We got our first bundle on there and we're going to get through the some of this anyway today. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for today. I'm running out of energy really fast here. So if you like the content, like, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe, don't forget, hit that little bell so you get a notification when I post the next video. God bless and have a great day.